T Squad. So legendary gossip blog, Gossip in the City is back. Um, Fee, who runs Gossip in the City, she took a break for about maybe six, seven, eight months, if I'm not mistaken, to focus on other things. But baby, when she came back, <laughs> she came back with a bang, all right? So she exclusively um, posted text message receipts from Iman Shumpert's alleged side chick okay now uh you know news came out last week via tiana taylor confirming that she and aman have separated for quite some time now they're still good friends great co-parents great business partners and that they're you know excelling in separating well um <clears throat> like i said the side chick sent fee text message receipts between she and Aman, I guess from when him and uh, Tiana were still very much in a relationship because these text messages were very revealing, okay? So before I read you the text messages, Gossip in the City wrote, Iman Shumper side chick releases receipts of their relationship since February up until August of this year. She claims to have been around Tiana's kids and around Iman's mom. We do have proof pictures of it, but chose to keep the kids out of it. We have re we have been releasing receipts of Iman cheating on Tiana since 2016. Not sure if y'all can count, but that's at least seven years of cheating on his wife. Now, I gotta admit, she has posted uh, receipts of him cheating, you know, but... They always said that it was lies. So let's look at the conversation between the side chick and Fee from Gossip in the City. So the side chick is in gray and Fee is in blue. The side ch chick says, hopefully that's enough receipts. She put recipes, child. Maybe it was autocorrect. I'm gonna give her grace. <laughs> hopefully that's enough receipts for you. He definitely had me around them babies. Fee says, thank you. That's a little much to be around the kids. The girl says, I agree. He really was my dog, really is a good person. He flew me out, but his friends are weird. He hangs around a lot of chicks and he gossips. I can see that. They've been at it for a while, so I'm not surprised. The whole time I was with him, she never called him. She called his mom on her birthday. I was at his mama's house. Okay, so this is must have been when they'd already separated because Fee said that they'd been talking since February of this year up until August. Mm, okay, the conversation continues and the girl said, he said her camp has a lot to do with these stories that are put out. Fee says, how else would be talk bad about her? Okay, that was typos on Fee's part. The girl says, like, saying she really doesn't support his decision. She talks crazy to him, like, be trying to fight him, that he always has the kids, and the kids spend more time with him, that she's, like, real uptight. He likes people that's down to earth. Mm. Hmm. Oh, I hope not, but Tiana seemed like the type that would try to fight you. <laughs> she really honestly does. I can see that. But, um, you know, when dudes get the pillow talking about their wife or their girl or whatever, you know, sometimes they do exaggerate or he could very well be telling the truth, but we don't know. She also goes on to say he brought 15 cars. They argued about that. He was saying how she needs to appreciate him or if she doesn't, then he's out. Um, Ma'am, I would be arguing with you, too, if... You bought 15 cars. You can't drive them all at once. What do you need 15 cars for? That's stupid. And it's a waste of money. It's a waste of money. That's not a good investment at all. So I understand totally where Tiana is coming from on that aspect. Like that's dumb. So then the girl said, he said her camp put out, put a lot of those stories out. One in particular, the Celine girl. He believes his wife and her can't put that out there. She be trying to do damage control to protect her image. Honestly, you can tell he loves her, but he doesn't like her anymore. It's like the kids is what's keeping him around. 
the vibes he gave me, like if he was on to something, like we really talked about everything. He's met my mama on FaceTime, my sister, dad, etc. I know he was definitely going through some ish. It wasn't like I was some groupie chick. I believe that's why he was comfortable with having me around his kids and all his family and why I was able to stay at his mom's house and be around how I was. The goal was to talk on another level and really get to know each other. His friends, though, Taco and this Chelsea girl, were just weird individuals, so it caused conflict. He saw certain things stood up for me once. But the night we came from his mama birthday situation, I decided to leave because the vibes were weird. He was upset by that really felt a way because I left and allowed for his friends to get in his head. He has some very feminine qualities to him. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, all right. <laughs> well, maybe his friends were weird because they knew that he was cheating on his wife. Whether separated or not. I mean, he got you staying over at his mama house and all types of stuff. So maybe that's why the friends was giving you weird vibes because they were looking at you weirdly. <laughs> Now, here is a text message received between the girl and Iman. The girl is in blue, Iman is in black. So the girl said, I would like the opportunity to kick it again. I thought about that too, like I still wanted to F you, LOL. I was super, LOL. Iman responds, my point exactly didn't even give me that cake after feeding me honey packs. What does that mean? I'm old, what is a honey pack, y'all? Somebody tell me. <laughs> so then the girl says, facts, like, my bad. I'm down to kick it again along with the honey packs. What is that? Is that a drug? What is going on? So whenever you ready for me to come, I'm down. And then she said, good night. Here's another text where she said, I like how you get down. TBH, I'm not sure about what you mean by how you get down, but if you cool off me, I understand. I thought the goal was to get to know one another. And then he responded, I meant like how I have to move in public. And the girl said, Iman, I want to be around you. And he says, LOL, which is why I'm salty. You left. She says, I like your friends, maybe because everyone was feeling how they were feeling about their own ish. Hmm. Then he says, I was in the middle of something. I understand your frustration. I will call shortly. She said, okay, baby, this was in August. So then Friday, August 25th, she says, good morning. He responds at 1 1.51 p.m., Good morning, nigga, it is afternoon, but okay. She says, how are you? So did you hang up on me? He says, call you right back. They walked in. Oh, wow. But my thing is, why are you doing all that if y'all separated? Maybe it was business people or something. I don't know. But anywho, so she said, it's okay. Your mind is already made up. So anything I say about how things were weird doesn't even matter. I'm not stressing it. It is what it is. Like you said, I ain't losing no sleep. Enjoy your day. Oh, she mad, honey. She feeling some type of way. Then she said, thinking of you, LOL, Monday, August 28th at 10.06 p.m. He said, Lord, with hard eye emojis. And he said, no, she says, LOL, I miss you, baby. And then he responds, miss you too. She says, hope to see you soon. Tuesday, August 29th at 3.50 p.m. She says, good afternoon. Um, he responds at 2.19 a.m. the next day and said, y'all in these damn roses, LOL. And she responds on that same day at 10.04 a.m. saying, LOL, it be feeling good. Oh. So they must have FaceTimed while she sent him a video of her using the rose. Vibrate. Girl, y'all nasty. <laughs> and then in the last one, you see, I don't, I guess this is a FaceTime that they were doing. And you see Amon sitting like on a bed and you see sneakers and stuff on the wall behind him. And you see her say Iman like good morning or something is covered up by the screenshot. And then uh, he says, good morning. Can I call you? She says, yes, please. And then it says something like, I'm calling you. Child, this is a mess. 
Well, when Iman got wind that she gave all of this information and tea to Gossip in the City, he reached out to her <laughs> and he was quite angry. Let's take a look at what he had to say. So he <laughs> said, uh, not sure why you call, don't. Inshallah, huh? After that fake A, lame A, bottom of the barrel A, BS you did, you're a joke, a mistake to have been in my space. She then says, you're a mistake to have been in mine, you're a joke. How you think I felt? I felt used, Iman. Oh, so that's why you did it? Because you felt used? How you gonna feel used, girl? You knew this man was still married, whether they were separated or not, like, Girl, if you going to do it, do it and keep your feelings out of it. Like, girl, no. And then you want to call yourself exposing him because you felt some type of way. You got yourself involved in this situation knowing what was going on. So, girl, I have several. But anywho, let's continue. He says, disgusting move, but I should have knew when you mentioned love and hip hop. Oh, wow. She trying to get on the show. I truly don't wish you luck. <laughs> He said, I truly don't wish you luck. You suck. <laughs> and you lame to me for that. Not you suck. That is funny to me. He said, like, truly corny after swearing you not the type, uh, after swearing you not that type of person, it's exactly what you are. It's gross. Well, at least he ain't, like, calling her a bunch of bees and this, that, and the third, but his verbiage cracks me up. Then she says, and you swore you wasn't a certain type of person that you were, in fact, that. I don't believe in luck. He says, whatever you say, I won't be contacting you. Okay, forget the luck. Bye now. Girl, they still like each other. They still gonna be talking after this, child. So then she says, that's fine. You already wasn't. You got what you wanted, it seemed like. You played me. It's cool. I wish you well, though, with a kiss emoji. <laughs> and then he sends her Jimmy Fallon with a thumbs down. <laughs> Iman is petty and childish, and he does act like a little kid. But I firmly believe that they just mad at each other, and they're going to be right back messing around based off these text messages. And then lastly, he says, don't wish me nothing. Don't use your religion to pray for me nothing. Don't talk about being a mom. Nothing like that. You weird AF or on everything I love. And then he sent her another meme. And then he said, you have no idea. And she said, cool, love. You will get over it. Child, everybody going to H-E double hockey sticks, child. Um, yeah, him and Tiana just need to fully divorce, go their separate ways and keep it moving. I always firmly felt like Tiana was more on the lesbian side. She just needed her to get her a good girlfriend and going on with her life. Oh, you know who should Tiana be with? Tiana and Keelani. I think, ooh, that'll be a sexy couple there. Ooh, Tiana and Keelani, but they might be too femme for each other. But baby... Mm, what y'all think about that but I figured that something was going on with them when Iman was on Dancing with the Stars and I know that she was on tour during that time but I still found it to be quite odd that she never showed up for him the whole time he was there you know a lot of other couples or people that do Dancing with the Stars even if their counterpart is uh busy that person will still try to make a show do something like film a, a, a video montage for that person do something and she didn't do any of that like I remember she barely even was posting for people to um vote for him like it was super super weird and I was like hmm it gotta be something going on here it really had to be so it all makes sense now it really honestly does and it's sad you know that a family is breaking up um, but they lasted longer than anybody expected them to. And they have two beautiful girls out of it. So that was a blessing. And like she said in her statement, they're still business partners and everything. Um, so hopefully they'll be able to make it through this hurdle and keep it pushing and keep it moving. And just respect one another and their girls. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Y'all think him and his girl gonna get back together? Because it seemed like they was giving each other love taps to me. <laughs> Y'all make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.